Colton, Sean, bring your stuff in. Let's check it out. We'll make sure you're packed up. It's a lot of stuff. <laughs> All right, so we're going to Colorado Deer. Did you guys get some rain gear? Yeah. yeah. Tops and bottoms both? Mm -hmm. Yes. Because in Colorado, when it rains, it's going to pound us. So bipod, your fire starter, your shells, and your binos. Uh, how are you for boots? Good. Good. The waterproof uh, Ridge Reaper boot? Yeah. Um, you got your first aid kits? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, GPS. All right, sounds good. Well, hunt starts tomorrow. Let's pack up. From a mule deer hunter's perspective, there is nothing like Colorado. It's a mule deer hunter's dream. I've hunted this unit before. I know it. I know there's good numbers of deer, and I just can't wait to see the looks on their faces when they're starting to glass up deer. We've raised them in the hills in a hunting environment and have taught them the trade, and now it's going to come full circle. We're going to be able to hunt together. Stop! Stop. They've graduated from BB guns and 22s to pack and centerfire rifles with me. There's nothing that means anything more to me than being out here with my boys. You got everything? Yeah. Your gun, binos. Okay, let's go over here, Sean. Let's just set up a glass right here. There's deer out there. We'll see if there's a buck, but they're starting to move. Looks like does, dang it. Looks like the big bucks just haven't come down yet. You just gotta keep moving and keep glassing. You see how all these deer are moving all the time? You wanna be able to scan over it. So I glass fast, and I glass the same hills 30 times, because you're gonna catch that movement and the color and whatever, you're gonna catch them. But if you just glass that hill really slow and you do it three times, you're not gonna catch them because they're probably gonna be in the drawer behind a tree or whatever. It's still early, you know? It's warm and dry this year, and I think these big bucks are still hung up high a bit. Sean. Yeah? Come here for a minute. Let's figure out a plan. All right, so we're camped right up here. We went up to the top and hiked all this down and worked all that. And while we saw what, four keys, one four point, bunch of does. We'll take it and every day more bucks and more bucks will move in. But some of these bigger bucks, it's just taking a little bit longer. That's what they do, they migrate. It's all these arrows, these are all migration routes. And they end up on these winter ranges. But what I was thinking, we could come up right here, come up this road, each one of these squares is a mile, hike to the top of that knoll, and you can see all this is roadless. This in here is all roadless then, so nobody well, else the road is going to be in there? Well, I mean, people would have to hike to be in there, but I think we got a good chance to have it up to ourselves. And there should be bucks up on there. Work it, work it, work it, work it, and then see what we come up with. What do you think? Sounds good to me. Sagebrush Bend. Good eyes, buddy. They're gonna come out along this ridge, too. They go down there to bed and then come out. Every hunt's a little different. Sometimes you get the good weather, and sometimes, you know, you've got hot, dry, miserable weather, and that's what we're up against. Really, it's in the deer's favor, and so we're gonna work hard, we're gonna keep covering country, and we're gonna make it happen one way or another. Sean, if I remember right, spotted them all last night. Sean had the 15s last night. He crushed you. It's the little and you spotted advantage. one group. <laughs> yeah, but you spotted no groups. <laughs> How many groups did we see? Like three. So one out of every three groups. And, 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 saw three. and the largest amount of deer in my group. It you looks, counted about one until Dad there got six. in there and saw the <laughs> There six. was six. No, no. I see one. No. All right. It's middle of the day. What are the deer doing right now? They're Probably bad, bad Me and Sean were thinking, like, maybe just go up behind camp for a little bit. Is if that's all right. There's somewhere right here. You want to do it on your own? Sure. Yes. Gather up your stuff and go? 
You don't want your old man to go, huh? You just want to go? You can come if you want. I think you guys can make it happen. I'd like to see you make it happen. Camp's logged in, okay? Just leave it in your pack on, it's fine. And then just follow the arrow back to camp. Sweet. All right. Be safe. Don't put one in the chamber until you're ready to shoot. Put your bipods down, put something under the butt of your gun, make sure you're dead solid. But make it happen timely or he'll get away. Good luck. I think we should go up over this and see what's over the end of that. I think we should glass this before we go anywhere. This is awesome. I'm thinking maybe just go up there because then we can glass back into that anyway. see it. Stop, 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 get down. Okay, watch him. How far? 470. Oh. Oh, oh crap. He ran over the top. He went over. Crap. He went over the hill. Dude, he just went over. Dude, full sprint. He went over. <sighs> I've hunted a lot of different years, a lot of different bucks, and I'm continually learning. So even though it doesn't work out, we're gonna learn from these mistakes and move on. It's just about being persistent, and we're gonna keep at it until it happens. There, there's a couple bucks. There's a couple bucks. Straight up right there by the rock. Okay. Come here. Let's get set up right here. Come on, Colton, come on. Here. Get right here. Get right here. Put your pack underneath your gun. Come on. Get set up. Get set up. Shuck a shell. Get your glove off. Get your glove off. Just relax. Just relax. Colton, are you set up? Yeah. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Can you see him? Wait till he stops. Wait till he stops. Just hold, are you good? Are you good? Yeah. Okay, just hold on, hold on, wait for him, wait for him. Colton, how are you doing? Fine. Okay, Sean's gonna shoot first. If Sean misses, then I'll let you shoot. Okay, he's walking, he's walking, just hold on. All right, right there. Good shot, good shot. Oh, yeah. Dude, good job, kid. Good job. Awesome. Good job. Couldn't be prouder. Man, that was awesome shot. Perfect shot. Good job, kiddo. Grab onto him. Let's see that thing. He's awesome, beautiful. He's his heavy, big old body on him. He's great. <laughs> <laughs> Found the deer rut. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Quartering him out. We'll get out the Havlons and skin him out. Get the quarters, back straps, tenderloin. We're gonna eat him tonight. Okay, Colton, grab the hide. Right here? Yeah, and then separate the hide from the meat. Now grab, take another grab, closer. And you really take control of what you got going on there. Good, good job. We're just gonna take him on this side, take the quarters off this side, the back strap off this side, we'll reach in and get the tenderloin, and then we'll roll him and do the same with the other side. This way you don't have to gut him. And we've got just pure clean meat, and then we can load him up in the packs and pack him out. Every animal's the same, elk, caribou, moose. They all have four quarters, they all have back straps, tenderloins, neck meat, rib meat, and so we can do this with every animal we take. The cleanest, leanest, most healthy meat you can have. It's an awesome experience to finally be able to be in the hills with them. I remember my first deer with my dad by my side, and those are things that'll never leave me.
working together, helping each other in the field, experiencing what I've been able to experience for the last 20, 30, 40 years. Hopefully they remember these times like I remember times with my dad.